morning YouTube well today's project is more along the lines of uh, slides and drawers hopefully I'll get some slides done today what I'm gonna do is the sink is going in here over here and over here um, it goes back 24 inches a little hard to, to, to reach all the way back so what I'm gonna do is put a, a uh, slide in here basically a just a panel that will slide in and out here another one at the bottom I'm doing the same on this side so that'll give me access all the way in the back I can slide it in and out pots pans bowls uh, kitchen what have you I'm not going to do that down here this is going to be for uh, I believe that put a door on it for uh, cookie sheets and uh, muffin pans and you know big flat things over here I left this with no drawer I'm putting a slide up about this high and I'm gonna cut a hole in it for a garbage can to hang in so that'll be uh, my garbage area so uh, let's get doing that I'm gonna do a uh, slightly different kind of joint on these things that I did before so let's get to it okay the joints I'm going to use on this are what called half lap these are just scrap pieces basically in order to join these two together I could just butt them up against it but that's not a real strong joint if I take and cut away half of the wood on this one and half the wood on this one they will be it's basically called a half lap it's so what I've got is got the dado blade set up like we had before and now I'm just going to cut a couple of these, the, um, the scrap pieces to case there's any minor adjustments before I actually get to the big one so let's uh, get that cut Basically they go together like that. So that's why I do with scrap pieces. This is I'm a little deep and not quite wide enough. So I gotta move the fence that way just a, an eighth of an inch and I've got to lower the blade um, about the same. So let me uh, we'll do that. I'll get this adjusted then we'll do start doing the frames. All right. Okay, so that's how they should match up with a half lap joint. Should be flush here and there, flush here. So let's get cutting the uh, cut the frame up and um, get all those cut up and um, ready to go before I set this up for the next step, which is going to be to uh, groove the inside for. The, uh, the actual shelf that's going to go in there. Um, so we'll get to doing that.
Okay, so basically, it's going to go together like that. Once I get them all cut, then I got to do the groove inside, and uh, which is going to be the same way using the, the regular blade offset just a little bit because these are going to have the uh, underlayment in them. When I do the, the big drawers, uh, well, we'll get to the big drawers. So, let me get the rest of these uh, half lapped up and then we'll get to doing the grooves. Okay, so the next step is cutting this groove to accept the base uh, or the, you know, the bottom of the, the slide. But, you don't want to cut it all the way out through this because it's centered up, is going to cut, if I cut it all the way through, it would, I'm basically going halfway through this, and it's going to cut uh, half of this half lap away on both sides. So we don't want that because that would just give us partial, uh, not as strong a joint, there'd be a big gap in there. So what I got to do is bring this down onto the saw where the blade is just coming up so it'll cut a little bit of it away but leave the majority of the wood here for the joint so in order to do that I made some pencil marks I made a pencil mark up here and what I'm going to do is I'll bring the piece down line it up with the pencil mark bring it down onto the blade, slide it through until it reaches this pencil mark, and then lift it up off the blade, turn it around, and this other pencil mark I've got over here, and I'll show you those in a sec, this corresponds to the shoulder here. So I've got one pencil mark here for that one, and one pencil mark for this, same down here when I'm coming through um, rather than put it up here, I got a mark right on the board right here. So when this shoulder gets to that mark, then I lift it up off the blade. And what that does, they like said, it gives us a nice cut. It leaves a majority of the half lap there, but it gives us a groove all the way out. So when I put the other pieces piece in, that will um, or put the uh, bottom of it in that will go in here go up um, I may have to do a little trimming on the corners of them just to get them to fit right but um, that way we leave them like I said we leave a majority here for a nice good strong uh, glue joint so I'll show you those uh, the uh, how I got the pencil mark set up So I've got this one dry fit and it's all uh, squared up so take the ends off 
don't have to take it totally apart. So I'm only gluing the corners. I'm not gluing the panel in. So. Nice liberal amount of glue. Some people put it on both sides. I don't think that's really necessary. See if it's square, which it's not, and this is the time to adjust it. So it's, it's off a little bit here, so I need to move this top that way. So just hang on to this side, tap that corner a little bit. Pretty good, pretty good. I could uh, run brads down through here, but they're just there to. It would just be there to hold this in uh, in place. So until the glue dries and clamps will do that just fine. There's the one. I've only got enough uh, the plywood and clamps to do uh, three of these. So I've got two more to go. I'll get some more plywood. We'll get that taken care of uh, in the next day or so. All right. Once I get the rest of them together, I will uh, show you how I'm doing the install. All right.